Scrolling through Kylie Jenner's Instagram, it's obvious she's enjoying the good life. She's thrown parties for her one-year-old Stormy, which cost her an easy million dollars alone. Pulling up to Stormy's party. She also makes sure to treat herself living in a $12 million mansion in Hidden Hills, California, not far from momager Chris and sister Kendall. Now her closet is the stuff of dreams with every purse you could imagine. In her garage, it includes the best of the best, including a Lambo and a G-Wagon, both wrapped in orange. And she's got multiple Rolls Royce, a Range Rover, and even a LaFerrari. That one's worth over two mil. Kylie's gotten so rich off her cosmetic line that she can now even fly Kylie's skin air. Now there's an old saying in Hollywood, the devil works hard, but Kris Jenner, she works harder. And for her youngest daughter, Kylie, well, Kris was able to put a plan in action to turn her average teenage daughter into a massive lipstick selling empire. Now the last time we took a crack at this video, Kylie was sitting on an estimated net worth of $41 million. That was in like mid 2017. And boy was I off. I was way off. Nowadays, we've all seen the headlines that Kylie has made it to the billionaire club, joining the likes of Oprah. And she actually has more bank than performers, including Rihanna, Madonna, and Beyonce. Huge congrats to her, but there are still those out there who are skeptical about her title given by Forbes. They don't believe she's self-made. There are also those who believe she's worth a lot less. I'll explain a little later in this video. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back at you with another The Rich Life video. Now Kylie Jenner is one of the richest of them all, but of course we could make similar videos like this on other members of the family. But to do that, we need suggestions from you guys in the comments down below. All right, now let's get into this video. Kylie Kristen Jenner was born on August 10th, 1997 in Los Angeles, California. Now, where before they were famous, it could certainly use an update. But seeing as we're talking about money, well, it's important to focus on momager Kris Jenner and how she laid the groundwork for their future empire. By the time Chris and Bruce Jenner became a couple, the two were on the outs with Hollywood. Now she was divorced from OJ Simpson's lawyer, awkward, while Bruce, well his star was starting to fade in Hollywood. His bank account, it was starting to dry up. And it was Chris who resurrected his career and she was working with very little. It's not a stair climber plus, it's not the real thing. And with the Stair Climber Plus, you get many of the benefits found on machines costing thousands of dollars more. Now it was also Chris who pitched the concept of keeping up with the Kardashians, the Ryan Seacrest. And when it was revealed to the world that Kim Kardashian had a private movie about to hit the web, well, she made sure it was discussed in the first season of the show. I think right now is the perfect opportunity for daddy to talk to you guys about the birds and the bees. And we could incorporate this in a little yeah. Sexual action. You mean popping the cherry? <laughs> now Kylie essentially started working at the age of 10 in a small role on the show, but as she got older, she got more screen time and her salary, it was raised to $100,000 per episode. Now Kylie stated in an interview that she had been cut off from the family fortune and her show earnings at 14. Now that money, it was all gonna go into savings, but not to fret, mom had a few ideas to help her girls make some coin off of their television exposure. Kylie Jenner made her catwalk debut at New York's Fashion Week in September of 2011. Now she continued her modeling career working for Sears and she was featured in various photo shoots for publications like OK Magazine, People and Teen Vogue. As Kylie and Kendall raised their profile, they began to take on brands to represent, including Nip and Fab, Sun, Steve Madden, Topshop and Sugar Factory. Kylie later launched the solo hair extension line with Balami Hair. Now Kylie, she had bumped her net worth up to $4 million by the time she was 17 years old. And that number, well, it would skyrocket in the years following. Still in her teens, Kylie was already demanding a massive audience on Instagram. And she was one of the first mega producers to charge $1 million to promote their products via IG. Teaming up with Kendall, the sisters, they also released a science fiction novel and their own video game, which exploded with 1.75 million downloads in the first week it went live. Aubrey Madison. Uh, hello, can I get just like a little bit of service here? Now by the time Kylie was 19, Forbes had pegged her net worth at $18 million, beating out all of her sisters with the exception of Kim. But that would all change with the launch of her own products. 
Now using $250,000 she had saved up, well she paid an outside company to produce her first 15,000 lip kits. Now the timing couldn't have been any better as gossip magazines were reporting that Kylie had gotten lip fillers. Now initially she denied these claims which resulted in huge sales. Cause all them little girls they wanted to know what was in her secret sauce. Now she started selling $29 lip kits in 2015 and she sold an estimated 360 million worth of Kylie cosmetics by 2018. At this time she had over 100 million followers on Instagram and had the most liked photo. That is until that egg showed up. And anyway, she was primed to take over the influencer makeup market. She even said herself, I had such a strong reach before I was able to start anything. She ain't kidding either. I mean them Kardashian fans, they are next level. <laughs> Not to mention she had become an even bigger star on the TV show. I feel like that's still, it's still going on. In November of 2018, Kylie launched a distribution deal with the beauty retailer Ulta and she sold an estimated $55 million of product in just six weeks. In May of 2019, she announced the launch of her vegan Kylie skin line. She also recently filed a trademark for a possible baby line. I hope that's not, you know, makeup for kids. They are getting them started very young these days. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I probably look a bit crazy, but this literally took 10 minutes. Thanks to her super low overhead costs and massive sales, well, the company is worth at least $900 million reportedly. Now, Kylie, she owns 100% stake in the company. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, there are still those out there who doubt Kylie's billionaire status, including CelebrityNetWorth.com. Now, they actually have an entire article debunking her billionaire status. They cite it as dubious. What a word to use. Now either way you spin it, Kylie, she certainly isn't short up for cash. So let's take a look at what she spends it on, shall we? First off, we'll talk about her whips. This is the first car that I ever bought. It's the big Range Rover autobiography extended version. She also has a Land Rover. Then there's her orange Lamborghini Aventador. That's worth 300K. She has a Ferrari Spider worth 200K and she was seen in a second one that's yellow. She's got a LaFerrari Aperto, which would run her at least 2 million bucks. She also got a vintage Rolls Royce, a silver Rolls Royce Ghost, a Mercedes Benz G Wagon, also wrapped in orange. And there's more. I mean, the girls, she's got, she got all the cars you can ask for. When it comes to vacations, well, Kylie Jenner, she can do whatever the hell it is she wants. Now, she's been reported to have stayed in a $50 million mansion in Turks and Caicos, and she's rented a $250 million yacht while in vacation with her family in the Mediterranean. She also likes to throw lavish events at her house, including a birthday party for her one-year-old, which includes a giant inflatable stormy head, and then the guests, they had to enter through the head, which is, I find that weird, but whatever. Inside, there were carnival rides, there were Louis Vuitton french fries, all the works, and she easily would have dropped a million dollars on this party alone. I mean, the kid's only one, but you know, she'll have uh, the Snapchat stories to look back on. I hope they didn't delete them. All right, let's talk about her cribs. Each of my homes have been very different, but also the same in the sense that they're all kind of young and dark. Kylie picked up her Calabasas starter home at the age of 18 for $2.6 million, which she soon after put on the market. She then opted to buy three mansions in Hidden Hills for the price of 4.5 million, 6 million, and 12 million. Now after renovations were complete, Kylie, she opted to live in the $12 million house. Built in 2015, this 13,200 square foot home sits on 1.4 acres of land. It also offers expansive views of nearby Los Angeles. Now it's got eight bedrooms, 11 baths, and it's in the Cape Cod style. It also includes a gourmet kitchen, home theater, game room, pool, and spa. There's also a massage room. And uh, well, there have been a ton of pics online, so let's take a look at them. They're beautiful. Now she had to convert one of her home's bedrooms to fit her estimated 400 designer bags. These include Judith Lieber clutches, vintage Dior saddlebags, a whole army of Supreme goodies, and plenty of Louis Vuitton. She also got Hermes and Birkin bags. I think my girlfriend would have a heart attack. She just even got a smell of that place. They're also a great investment. The house is also decorated in expensive art pieces. She loves Marilyn Monroe. She's also got a wall of condom themed art, which I love. I mean, those are the size that I use. For <laughs> No one's buying that for a second. 
All right, guys, my name is Michael McCred, and we're wrapping up this video here. Thanks so much for tuning in again to The Rich Life. You guys gotta let us know who you want us to do next in the comments down below. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in another video.